yeah, it was uh, it was a very weird situation, of course. Um, it's a long long travel, <laughs> but um, yeah, I think you know a lot has been said about it. Um, after that, we had a very long uh, long break. Um, but I think yeah, as drivers, you you want to um, know when you are going to race again. Like I hate it when I don't have a set date to to work towards. And um, luckily, at one point, we had that confirmation. And um, yeah, I think now we are just uh, very excited to to get going again. I think it's very weird for everyone that we haven't been able to drive for such a long time. I think it never happened. Um, it never happened before in my life. Um, but of course, we have a lot of simulators, and I think, yeah, as you could see, a lot of people were were doing that in in the meantime. I think it's still very relevant, of course, with all the data we 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 got it in in um, in Barcelona. Of course, yeah, we had a little bit of a break, but I think we we all know where where we have to. Uh, what we have to work on, um, so it's just a continuous process, to be honest. Honda, for sure, you know, they worked very hard over the winter again, um, but I think it all looked very solid in, uh, in winter testing. Like, we, we didn't have any issues, the, 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 the top speed looked, uh, looked decent, so uh, yeah, very happy with, with the work that has been done, and you know, it's, it's just continuous. Like, they just keep going and they re they're really motivated, which I, I like to see. But of course, the competition is also not standing still, so we'll we just have to um, find out soon, you know, where we are. I, I um, of course, have good memories about um, the first two uh, race tracks we go to, um, but uh, you know, it's not a given, so we still have to perform, and we still, uh, you know, we have to do it again. Um, and after such a long break, it's going to be interesting to see where we are. Mercedes, I think, are still, of course, the ones to beat because they have been the dominant team in the last few years. So we, uh, we, we try to, of course, uh, yeah, close that gap. Um, I have good hopes and uh, yeah, we have some really good tracks, of course, we are going to attend. So hopefully, um, yeah, we can make it uh, very difficult for them this year. It's, of course, going to be very different, you know, without fans and especially like we had like, the last few years in, in Austria with, with so many um, yeah, Dutch fans on, on the grandstand. Um, yeah, it's going to feel a little weird, but we'll, uh, yeah, we'll try to uh, make a good show. I think everyone wants to do that. And um, of course, at the end of the day, we want to have a good result. Honestly, I wasn't surprised because I think at the end of the day, you know, we are all you know, people and we all, we all like to to help each other out. So when teams can combine their forces, I mean, that's amazing to see, but also I think to, to see how quickly they could adapt, um, let's say, Formula One uh, machinery uh, into, you know, helping people all over the world. Um, of course, during the pandemic, I think that was yeah, incredible. And you can definitely see how professional everyone is. Message to the fans, I think, uh, yeah, it's of course a big, Big shame that you, you guys can't be there. I mean, uh, I would have definitely loved to see you all there, but um, we'll, we'll definitely try to make up for it um, in a way to give you guys a good show and uh, a lot of uh, action on the track.